about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. And it came to pass about an eight days after these sayings, he took Peter, John, and James and went up into a mountain to pray. The miracle is in the next verse. Let's read together 29 if you can see. One, two, read. And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment was white. This is one of the things that prayer does. It says as he prayed, not before he prayed, as he prayed, his countenance there is transformation the primary assignment of prayer is for your transformation not just receiving needs having requests is only an aspect of prayer the primary assignment of prayer is a spiritual tool that evolves you into a superior dimension in the spirit so every time you submit yourself to prayer you may not realize what is happening but in the realm of the spirit he says his countenance began to change and then his raiment mastery over the flesh his garments became white all of the lusts and all of the things that stop you from experiencing a superior christian experience his garment prayer also affects the garment as he prayed his countenance changed his garment became white and glistening is someone ready to pray still so now you understand that whilst you are praying something is happening to you the version that came to this ground is not the version that is living there is there is there is capacity there is expansion so that the grace you could not carry yesterday you can now carry today Open your mouth and begin to pray. Shana katabala katos. Make a pray get a dia katabos keneka labata. Tired of this level in the spirit. Tired of this dimension in the spirit. It's a call for a higher realm. Lift your voice and pray. Shama katali ke brandi ke parusiata. Embra kete kete pa kotos koto pa kete bela kata. we're praying Shiperesca de Beleco Tosco to Brondo Coto Brasiata Scada Baracatos Cote Brenda Gate Balacata Ebracata Paros Coto Brenda Gate Belecata Capra de Gate Brasca de Balacatos Kidatia Growth in the Spirit Growth in the Spirit Shima Catapali Catoski Adacata Embrace Kebalakatosia, ascending into levels. 
ascending into higher levels in the spirit In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus listen let me tell you what happens to you when you begin to pray you are tampering with something a status quo that the flesh is used to the flesh will fight you when you pray but when you stay and you continue praying you will get to a point where you will begin to gain dominion over the flesh let me show you something acts chapter 28 hmm. acts chapter 28 let's start from verse 1 acts chapter 28 from verse 1 The Bible says, and when they were escaped, talking about Paul now, please pay attention. They knew that their island was called Melita, verse 2. It says, and the barbarous people showed us no little kindness. And then they received us and helped us in the cold. Paul is speaking. Next verse. The Bible says, when Paul gathered a bundle of sticks look up please Paul gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire and then came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand look up please when Paul was gathering that stick there was a viper hiding there but it could not be seen but when they brought that stick into fire the viper that was hiding found its way out. There are times you may never know the tendencies that are hiding within you. All the lusts and the cares. But when you submit yourself to the fire of the spirit, everything that is hiding, waiting to destroy your future, it begins to be exposed in the presence of prayer. It is in the place of prayer that whilst you pray, all of a sudden God reveals to you that there is pride, the viper of pride hiding waiting to destroy the next 20 years of your ministry there is the viper of lust there is the viper of self-glorification in the place of prayer the viper is both exposed and destroyed open your mouth and begin to pray that everything hidden in my destiny to destroy me hidden in my life by the power of prayer tonight in the name of jesus christ let it be exposed and destroyed are there people of prayer in, in Sukha? lift your voice and pray the fire always exposes the viper the fire always exposes the viper seeing that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight 
and the sin that doth easily beset us and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith east of the Niger pray Shabakatabalakata shake every viper shake every viper Kabarasko dopo dope katila kata Kelebras katapeko tosko to bread de gede balakata He prato sadabakata prende gede balakatos in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus are we still following Matthew chapter 21 from verse 13 let me show you a mystery while we pray matthew chapter 21 and verse 13 jesus entered the temple and he began to flog people who were buying and selling in the temple and when he flogged them he made a statement that is a very deep mystery matthew please give it to us matthew chapter 21 and verse 13 read with me ready one to read uh-huh he said it is written if it is my house it will be called a house of prayer he says but you have made it a den of robbers let me show you a mystery in the realm of the spirit a house is either a house of prayer or a den of robbers listen to me even if that house is you if you are not a house of prayer the next other thing in your life is you become a den of robbers you know what robbers do they come to a house to steal so once you are not a house of prayer you become a den of robbers so they can come into your life and your destiny they can steal time they can steal your joy they can steal your increase the antidote to the robbery of satan over your health over your life is to become the house of prayer are we together now so if you do not pray your health he will steal from your health your joy he will steal from your time the moment the temple stopped being a house of prayer it became a den of robbers do you know what they were doing in the temple they were exchanging things so the devil can pray on your life and exchange your destiny exchange your virtues because he found a cold temple that was not a place of prayer that means if you want to drive robbers in the temple the way you drive robbers is to turn it back to a house of prayer is someone ready to drive robbers from your life the robbers that steal time the robbers that steal joy the robbers that cause delay lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit this house is a house of prayer never a den of robbers Kabakatosh. This house remains a house of prayer. This house remains a house of prayer. My body, my life, my destiny remains a house of prayer. Ebros koto barus kata belentes kata barus kripeke topokos koto pelekata 
Go ahead and pray. Lekata brandi ki baruski ya tabala kata. Pray. Shina tapas kata les kabaras kotos. Ki pres kata bekata pros koto balakata brigadea. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you tired of praying? My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I am anointed with fresh oil. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I am anointed with fresh oil. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn I am anointed I will give you another prayer point but I want to pray I'm seeing at least 24 people the Lord is saying he's bringing you into seasons of encounter with the spirit and the power of God is going to come on such people I want to pray for them now. I want you to please bring them out whether you are an usher or not. Just help them. There are certain people here. Some of you are students. You didn't even know that the call of God is upon your life. But there is a grace that is finding you now. I don't know where they are. But I stretch my hands all over this auditorium. In the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. May that grace that represents the calling that draws you into the secret place. May that grace come upon you now. May that grace come upon you. Please bring them out. There is a strong anointing that is coming on those people. Men and women. Men and women of power of grace. You will never, never be the same. Please make sure they don't injure themselves. When you hold them like this, let them just be down. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands now and I decree and declare over his entire auditorium everyone by the spirit who should be part of this calling i stretch my hands may that grace come on you now help them please help them my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn i am anointed fresh oil my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn hey shalata pakata Luke chapter 3 and verse 21 pay attention this gentleman come that man lifting your hands what do you do are you a pastor what's your name huh? who is I'm not who is Abel what's your name I'm Abel sir stand up and it's what's your you are, you are together I want to pray for you you are young people but God is going to there is a training that God is going to submit you to and I tell you the kind of fire that will come out of your lives let me pray for you father I pray for this gentleman like fire from on high from today move to a new dimension take that fire now in the name of Jesus Christ you will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ Luke chapter 3 and verse 21, please. We are praying. Please pay attention. Luke chapter 3 and verse 21. Please look at your screens. Luke chapter 3. Media help us. 
there is my god there is a prophetic well there are some of you here i'm seeing a horn in the spirit this is what i'm saying there are people who are ready to drink of this wine students young people some of you are not even pastors where are they i stretch my hands may the horn of the spirit go left and right of this auditorium let there be that ordination that lifting bring them out all over the crowd there are women ladies i see an anointing in this campus and around the power of god is resting upon you the horn of the prophetic coming upon your life Bring them up. So we bow as we enter the throne room and we cast ourselves now at your feet you are holy thou art holy there is none like you in your presence there is where i must be in your presence that is where I must be in your presence. That is where I must be. Luke chapter 3 and verse 21. Please give it to us. The Bible says this was the baptism of Jesus. Let me just turn there for the sake of time. Luke chapter 3 and verse 21. The Bible says, Now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also, look up please, being baptized and praying and praying, the result the heavens was open baptized and praying prayer is one of the mysteries that controls open heavens and when the heavens were open the next thing we see happening was the holy ghost descending access to the spirit access to power through prayer while he was baptized and pray the heavens open is someone ready to pray for a few more minutes i know we're out of time just a few minutes and we're done i like you to lift your voice and begin to pray this prayer is for open heaven so god open heavens greater glory being baptized and praying being baptized and pray be baptized and pray the healing anointing came upon his life being baptized and pray the prophetic mantle came upon his life being baptized and pray the apostolic mantle came upon his life being baptized and pray the grace for speed came upon his life Pray, shana kapas kada lakata, shali kasiza pekata ba korobo siba kani ataba lakata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ifoma? I'm hearing a name Ifoma. Our time is gone. 
will have time to minister to people informer you are wearing a yellow t-shirt informer is there someone like that this is what i'm seeing in my vision like orange or yellow something like that who is that stand up what is your name let's verify what's her name who knows her here so that you don't think people are your name is Informa. I want to pray for you. My dear, look at me. The Lord is raising you to be a savior over your family. You may be a lady, but there is grace and fire coming upon you that will translate you to a sign and a wonder. I stretch my hands and I pray for you. May that grace shift you to a level in the spirit that you will become so powerful. In the name of Jesus Christ, drink of that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ there is a gentleman here the power of God is coming on you you are a campus pastor but I'm seeing there is a strong healing anointing that is coming on you this is a campus pastor like um, a pastor within the campus I don't know where that person is but I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus may this mantle of your call and destiny let it locate you now let it locate you now in the name listen ladies and gentlemen my dear people hear me one of the ways that mighty men are made in this kingdom is by submitting themselves methodically to the ministry of prayer. You cannot contend for genuine spiritual power, power over nations, power over systems. It's not just by laying on of hands. There is capacity that you must build in the spirit. No matter what the oil can do, if the container is small, the oil will not do much. I'm sensing in my spirit that there are altars here that the fire has gone down. Down. This was not the way you used to be with God. Your prayer life was on fire. But now all kinds of distractions. All kinds of distractions. All kinds of distractions resting upon you to distract you. I stretch my hands even over your prayer life right now, like fire from heaven. Let that altar the grace to travel, the grace to push through in prayer until you bet realities i stretch my hands all over this auditorium take that grace right now take that grace right now in the name of jesus christ the spirit of prayer and of supplication You call this conference saviors from Zion. Do you know how olive produces oil? The oil that is used to anoint, that oil that was used to anoint kings, to anoint nobles, the olive would pass through a system of crushing and threshing. It is in that squeezing that the oil comes out of the olive. There is a way mighty men are made in this kingdom.
God is raising mighty men in this place. God is raising people of fire in this place. He won't stop. He won't stop till your life looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop till you look just like him. God is raising mighty prophets in this place. God is raising men of power in this place. He won't stop. He won't stop till your life looks like hell. He won't stop. He won't stop till your life looks like hell. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray, especially over students. There is the spirit of understanding. Eli who said in chapter 32 and verse 8, but there is a spirit in man. And the inspiration, the breath of the Almighty can make men of understanding. The Lord is showing me some of you here, you are students. You are sincere, you are serious. But just when it is around the period of exams, it's like there is a dark cloud that sits upon your mind. No comprehension again. I don't know who belongs to that category, but I'm praying for you right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Papa Katepakata Broskatepekatatia. Let that dark cloud over your mind be rolled away now. Let it be rolled away now. Let it be rolled away now. And I impart upon you the grace for extraordinary comprehension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is healing someone. There's a lump around the left part of your breast but the power of God is touching you right now bringing you life bringing you healing in the name of Jesus wherever you are I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be healing for you now the last thing I'm going to do tonight and then we're done Bring the lady that shouts under the anointing loud to the hearing of everybody. The power of God is coming on someone. A lady. You've taken the pain and the sorrow away. Given me peace undeniable There's no need to cry Cause you're always with me You're my father My everything yeah. listen please let me give you an instruction before i pray the prayer i want to pray whether you are an usher or not please listen whether you are an usher or not please you are going to do the work of an usher and be your brother's keeper because there is a mighty deliverance that is going to happen here now there are altars that have sat on the destinies of people and these altars are about to be dislodged i want to pray a very serious prayer I wanted to bring those under the anointing as I pray. But let me tell you this. Please help one another so that there is no chaos. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. There are people here. Listen to me. The destiny you are living is not the destiny ordained by God. There are all kinds of spirit. 
yokes of darkness have come to sound a trumpet and a shofar to the realm of the spirit that in the name of the Lord God whose I am at the count of three as you shout that name Jesus everything sitting on your destiny and that of your family is about to let you go are you ready now one two three shout Jesus I command every devil I command every spirit out of their lives now out of their destinies now bring them out every familiar spirit every workings of witchcraft tying you down connected to ancestry connected to foundation the bible says blotting out every handwriting every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now we are still praying my god fire is falling in this place hear me there are many of you who have been tied delays all around in school in life and destiny again i'm praying every altar tying you down tying your loved ones down you're going to shout jesus again one two three shout jesus i set them on fire fire i set them on fire by the power of the holy apocalypse hey get take it take it back up brosco take it up Beres Ketia, I bring a rod of fire, a rod of fire, a rod of fire. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes, and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you